getting out and learning what the outdoors is. It's a 410, but it's been converted from a rifle. Yeah, occasionally we get something come in that's a little bit different, a little bit interesting, uh, which makes uh, being a gun dealer a little bit more interesting. Uh, this came in a little while ago. It's a Jay Rigby. Around the turn of the centuries, a lot of rifles were brought out to 410 um, because they were easier to sell. And one of the ways you can always tell is to see where they take the sights off and just put a little dovetail in there. In, in a way, it's a shame that it's been converted because Rigby were very famous uh, in the 1800s for making rifles. Uh, they won nearly everything that could be won, rifle shooting wise. Um, they developed a lot of new calibers, they developed uh, a new way of rolling a cartridge. Very, very famous gun maker. Um, and as I said before, it would be worth more as a rifle than it is as a 410. Um, it's in its original case, made around 1900. Um, Rigby now belongs to a firm in America. The number on this gun is 1944. It's not the date, that's the gun number. Um, so, without digging too deep, a calculated guess is it was made around the turn of the century. Uh, nice case. Um, it is what it is, it's £500, there you go Dave, take that out, have a little play with it. So this is something that I believe every gentleman or lady, every family should have one of these in their cabinet. Because you've, you're, you've, you're holding a little bit of traditional English history here. Uh, this is a single barrel, it's again... In these days, this was hand-built. So, like my last previous video on the 410s, you had the Yildits and the, and the Betton Zollies, and most of it, okay, the Betton Zolli is hand-finished, but most of that on those two guns were built by a machine. This gun was built by a person, and it was built in England. So, especially with what's going on at the moment, um, you're supporting the English gun trade when you when you get one of these. A nice piece of wood built by hand. So you're not just buying something off the shelf that anyone can buy. All this is scaled down. Um, if I take it apart, you can see all the detail with that gun. And you can pick something like this up for under a grand. Okay, it's not the sort of thing you're gonna be using every day. But it's something, when you have your children, it's something you can say, I've got that in the corner of the cabinet. Why do you, when they're five, six years old, why don't you come for a little shoot with it? It's just something that a lot of people hand them down to generations after generation. But it's just something that I personally think is something that in this country, we need to keep things like this going. So that's really what we can say about the John Rigby um, 410. Let's see what it shoots like. Pull. Ejector as well. Again, we make ejectors now, they made ejectors in these days. Pull. You wouldn't believe how that shoots. Pull. Cool. 
again shooting something like this is more of a it's just a pleasure to shoot it it's an absolute pleasure it's a bit like shooting an old english gun okay the stop might be a little bit low low in the comb but you're not really worried about that when you're looking at something like this pull It would be great just to shoot a pheasant with it as well. Just to show you can do it. Pull. Right, we're gonna shoot a pair. Pull. Yes! Right, we're stopping there with one left. I'll do one more. Pull. As you can see, something like this, it's bags of fun. So I really, really would recommend, okay, buy yourself a Bet and Zolli, buy yourself a Yield It's, they're great guns. But this is something that every family has got to have in their cabinet. Just for that English tradition and for the American viewers out there, get yourself one as well. You would love this. You want to be a little bit of the English tradition? Get yourself one of these. I'd recommend it 100%. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment on anything, any questions you may have with this. Thank you. Well, yeah, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, a bit of fun to play with. Yeah, yeah nice. Of, um, Though that's a grand inch in its case. The case needs a little bit of TLC. Something that an enthusiast will be happy to have a play with. Please share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done. And it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.